How do we form the future tense in Italian and how do we use it? Well, we're going to learn this in today's video. Ciao a tutti and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano and I am an Italian teacher. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell if you would like to be notified every single time I upload a new lesson. And also, if you like my content and you would like to support my channel, don't forget to leave a like under this video. It's gonna help me a lot. In today's video, we're going to talk about the future, the future tense in Italian, how to form it and also also how to use it. You may think that the future is pretty easy because it is used to talk about a future action and that's true, but we also need to understand all the uses of the future in Italian to better use it when we are speaking. So stay with me for this lesson, it's gonna be pretty easy and I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot about future in Italian. First of all, let's understand how to form the future. Now, the future works in a different way compared to other tenses, I would say. This is because usually when you are conjugating a verb in Italian, what you do is that you remove the ending of the infinitive and then you add the endings of the tense you are conjugating, for example, the present. So if I had the verb partire, I would remove the ending of the infinitive, ire, I would be left with parte and then I would add the endings of the present and I would say Parto, parti, parte, partiamo, partite, partono. With the future though, it's a little different because we do not remove the ending of the infinitive, but we just remove the final E. So if I had the verb partire, I would remove the final E, so partir, and then I would add the endings of the future. And the endings of the future are actually the same for all three conjugations, are, ere, ire, with a little twist for are verbs. And we're going to look at that in a second. But now let's try to conjugate the verb partire in the future. So I remove the final E, partir, and then I add the endings. There are partiro, partirai, partira, partiremo, partirete, partiranno. And what about the verb mettere? Same thing, metter, metterò, metterai, metterà, metteremo, metterete, metteranno. And what about are verbs? Well, it's very easy. So with are verbs, you need to do two things before adding the endings. Well, the first thing is, of course, removing the final e. So, for example, if I have the verb arrivare, I would be left with arrivar. But then I have to change the A of are into E. So instead of saying arrivar, I would say arriver. And then I add the endings of the future. So I would have arriverò, arriverai, arriverà, arriveremo, arriverete, arriveranno. Sì? It's pretty easy, isn't it? There are actually some irregular verbs in the future that you need to know, but we're not going to talk about that right now. But there's one irregular verb that I would like to go over, that is the verb essere, to be, because it is very important. So the verb essere in the future is io sarò, tu sarai, lui, lei sarà, noi saremo, voi sarete, Loro saranno. All right, now let's try to understand when the future is used in Italian. So the first use of the future in Italian is to talk about future actions, of course. For example, domani arriveranno i miei amici da Londra. Domani arriveranno i miei amici da Londra. Now the thing is that even though I'm using the future here, I could also use the present. Now, I don't know if you've watched my previous video on the differences between the present and present progressive, but in that specific video, I went over some rules about the present in Italian. In Italian, we use the present to talk about a future action, but a future action that is planned and that it's very close to us. So yes, I could say domani arriveranno i miei amici. That is correct. But I could also say, domani arrivano i miei amici. And that is because maybe it is a planned future, it's something they have planned. And I already knew a long time ago that they were coming, everything was planned. If you haven't watched that video on this specific topic, I will leave it down below in the description. So just know that yes, you could use the future in this situation, 
but maybe in colloquial Italian we would tend to use the present a little bit more. Then the future is also used to talk about projects, future projects that we have, future plans. A gennaio inizierò un corso d'italiano. A gennaio inizierò un corso d'italiano. Again, here we're talking about a project, a future project that I have. So the use of the future is recommended in this case. The future is also used to make announcements. So I'm pretty sure that if you come to Italy and if you go to an airport or a train station, you're gonna hear those announcements about uh, airplanes and trains, and they're going to be using the future in those specific cases. For example, il treno arriverà con 20 minuti di ritardo al binario 10. Il treno arriverà con 20 minuti di ritardo al binario 10. L'aereo partirà con un'ora di ritardo al gate 12. L'aereo partirà con un'ora di ritardo al gate 12. The future is also used to make promises. So if you're making a promise to someone, be sure to use the future. For example, if you're struggling with your Italian, don't worry. Non preoccuparti, ti aiuterò io a studiare l'italiano. Non preoccuparti, ti aiuterò io a studiare l'italiano. Here I'm making a promise. I'm promising you that I'm gonna help you study Italian. So that's why I use the future. Another example might be Ti prometto che sarò più gentile con te. Ti prometto che sarò più gentile con te. And finally, we also use the future to make predictions. Now, this is very important, and in this case, I cannot use the present. I will have to use the future. When I'm making a prediction in the future, I'm not 100% sure about the prediction. So for that reason, the future is the perfect tense to use, because the future does not convey that uh, certainty that the present might convey. For example, tra 30 anni tutte le macchine saranno elettriche. Tra 30 anni... Tutte le macchine saranno elettriche. Here, I'm saying that in 30 years, all car will be electric, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm making a prediction. So the future is the perfect tense to use. Another one might be, Se non combattiamo il riscaldamento globale, tra 50 anni l'aria sarà irrespirabile. Se non combattiamo il riscaldamento globale, tra 50 anni l'aria sarà irrespirabile. So we're not 100% sure about that happening and making a prediction. So we need to use the future. Now there's also another very interesting use of the future in Italian. And it's about doubts and suppositions. Now that use is very, very different from what we studied so far. So I would like to make a separate video on that. So if you're interested in knowing how that works, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to make a new video about that specific topic. So we're done for today's video. I hope you liked it. And of course, if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. And also, please, if you like my content and you find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like under this video because it's gonna help me tremendously. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. And don't forget also to follow me on Instagram Instagram teacher Stefan if you would like to be updated for new content and new project and also if you would like to see my trips around Italy. I'm going to see you in the next lesson. Ci vediamo nella prossima lezione. Ciao!